So in this video, I'm going to ask you to modify. This is a challenge. This is you're going to have to think a little bit. In the last video, we set up Drupal and we set up Postgres and we did it in a Docker Compose file. Nice thing about a Docker Compose file is once you have it in place, it works, right? So we're going to modify that a little bit. Let me show you what I mean. Um, we're going to modify the Docker Compose file. All right from part 09 so that now it's running Drupal on port 8080. That's not going to change. We're going to have, instead of Postgres though, we're going to change that image to a MariaDB image. You're going to have to figure out how to do that. Go to the Docker Hub, look at MariaDB, put the right things into the Docker Compose file, and MariaDB will come up with a root password that you know. Uh, and then we're going to add a third image. So you're going to add a third image underneath those first two. And this one's going to be PHP my admin. And this one's going to be linked. This one's going to run on port 8081, but it's going to be linked to the MariaDB um, Docker. Again, you don't really have to do anything in Docker Compose as long as you set it up. Uh, the networking will already be there. It'll be fine right and so here's what you'll do when you have all that running here's what it's gonna look like alright so you'll take a screenshot of this I'm gonna do a docker I've already set mine up so it does all of those things uh, docker compose up hyphen D and um, I've done something wrong here oh right docker let me do this one more time I can't type docker compose up hyphen D all right, and it'll show all of those are running. And then you're going to do a docker ps hyphen a. And uh, a screenshot there, or you can call the instructor over if you're, if the instructor is available to check. This is your proof, though. If not, you can screenshot this. And that way we can see that, okay, docker compose up created three containers and those three containers my maria my php my drupal my maria my php my drupal um drupal's on 8080 my php is on 8081 and my maria is running on 3306 and we can see that those are also the right images we're running php my admin and maria db um, and you know it works so uh, if i were to go to for example port 8081 here uh, with the username root and the password. I didn't change the password, so it's still example. I changed everything but the password, right? And uh, so I can log in and I can do things like create my database now. So I could create a database called Drupal. You don't have to do this, I'm just demonstrating. Uh, I could create this database called Drupal DB. So now I've got a database in my Maria container. And so now I can go to my Drupal on port 8080. And I can tell it that this time we're using MySQL. And uh, the database name is going to be Drupal DB. Database username is root. The password is example because I haven't messed with it. And uh, the host is, in this case, I'm calling it my Maria again because I just gave the Docker container name my Maria here. And it'll go through and it'll install and I'll have Drupal working and I'll have three different containers sort of allowing me to access that. Okay, so um, that's just an example. I hope that helps. Here's the screenshot that you need to turn in to show us that it all works. Good luck, ask questions. This is a difficult challenge.